morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to my second channel. I'm back. Did you even know I was gone? I'm not sure. Um, Scott and I went to North Wales for a couple of weeks in the camper van and it was so good. It was so beautiful. It was like New Zealand, honestly. Blew me away. The scenery, the weather we had for almost the entirety of those two weeks was like burning off. Oh, Anyway, not here to talk about my North Wales trip. That'll be up on my main channel at some point. Um, I thought we'd do a little bit of a catch up. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks now. I only read two books when I was away. Two. And if you want to know which ones they were, it was Dead Man Walking by Gianna Darling, um, which is like number book number six or something in the is it the Broken MC Broken Men series, something like that. I haven't read any of the others, but I think you can read them as standalone. It was really good, very interesting. And then I read Dark Notes by Pam Godwin, which was amazing. Anywho, so I asked over on Instagram if you had any questions um, and oh I actually asked on the YouTubes as well. So I thought we'd do a little bit of a Q&A and I've got a little bit of a mini haul to show you as well which we'll do at the end because I do I have a question about that. What book have you not read that you think you should? Many, 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 many. I could go with like a real standard um, answer which is like a classic of some sort um, but to be honest the one I keep looking at but I'm just not in the mood to read is The Book Thief because I know how popular it is and how heartbreaking it is apparently um, but I've got to, that's gonna be like gotta be in the mood to read that one so probably yeah. Jessica said no question just want to say I've missed you. Well thank you darling I've missed you all too. Do you still suffer with a lot of anxiety if so how do you handle it? Um, my anxiety's actually been really under control lately um, and it's not as bad as it used to be um, since I've taken a real big step back from things. However, it is still there, it is still lingering. I don't think she'll ever go away, but um, I am finding better ways to handle it, taking time out to meditate um, and using my CBT techniques I learned during therapy um, when I remember to use them. So if I sound really like blocked up, I do have a really horrible cough. It's not COVID, I did a test. <laughs> it's not good. What's a good Stephen King to start with? Can't answer that because I've only read two Stephen Kings, The Shining and The Institute. Uh, both really good. The Shining was an absolute masterpiece. It was absolutely phenomenal. Um, so can someone, please down below, let Annabelle Louise know why is the best Stephen King to start with? Because I can't answer that for you, babe. I haven't read enough. Even though I own a crap ton of his books now. If you had to pick one book to entertain yourself while trapped on a, desert I a deserted island, what would it be? Ooh. One book. I'm tempted to go with something funny to keep it light-hearted, you know what I mean? Because I'll be alone. I don't want a romance. I'll just feel even more lonely. It's probably something like Michael McIntyre's Life and Laughing or Adam Case's This is Going to Hurt. Yeah, one of those. I think something funny would be good in that situation. Did you pack books? with you in Wales or read on Kindle audiobooks. Um, I've been just on Kindle kick as a, you know, I've barely read any physical books lately. Uh, the past two months, like been pure, like two, three months, been like purely Kindle. But that's because I'm on a romance kick and there's so much on Kindle Unlimited that I've just been like deep diving into. Um, so I didn't pack any physical books and I only read two and they were both on my Kindle. Well, on my phone, I read them on my phone, but the Kindle app. Actually, let's just do this now. Did you buy any books while on holiday? Girl, how did you know? Only two, I mean, we were in like, the countryside, we were like wild camping next to lakes and rivers and stuff, so there weren't many charity shops. But when we stopped in Wrexham on the way back to Birmingham when we left North Wales, we like took, we didn't want to go the most way all the way home. So we stopped in Wrexham quickly and there was a Sioux Rider, two books for a pound. I was like, girl, can I just, excuse me, goodbye. And I just like ran in there. And uh, so I did pick up two books. I'll show you. Let me show you. So there, yeah, there were two for a pound, so I picked up The Lovely Bones because I have read it before. But it's a lovely little hardback for 50p. I thought, yes, add it to the collection because I don't think I actually own it. And it was such a good story. It's been years since I've read it. And I picked up The Stand by Stephen King in this, like, really old, battered, um, vintage hardback. I mean, look at the colour of those pages. Um, so that's 50p as well. Um, so, yes, did pick up those two. Did pick up more. I'll show them at the end, but they weren't from holiday, they were literally from this morning, as I had to have my charity shop fix. I'm back up holiday now, it's Monday, down to the charity shops. How are you these days? I'm really good. Wales was really good for me because, I think I'll talk about this on my, on my main channel more, but really helped me just give me some space to figure out like what I want to do, what my next steps are, because I've really been struggling with everything that's been happening, like figuring out what does Ali want to do next. And whilst I'm still trying to figure it out, it definitely gave me a lot of headspace. So I am feeling good. Um, and I'm remembering to meditate and use my CBT if anxiety comes up because obviously my brain is trying to process all these things. Favourite books when I was a kid? Um, the Book of Lost Things by John something. I've got it on my bookshelf, hold on. It's like, I've still got it, it's really battered, but I remember like, oh, in the series of unfortunate events. Hold on, what's it called, John? John? John, darling? John Connolly, yeah, this is in my mom's house and I picked it up and brought it back to mine ages ago um, when I saw it, but I absolutely adored this book. I, that'd be fun to reread, wouldn't it? Um, it was one, like, yeah, 
I mean, I just remember loving it. Can't remember what it's about. <laughs> but series of unfortunate events was also good. Very good. How's the fish going? Sushi is fantastic. She is thriving. Um, she's living her best life. We left her for two weeks. We put her food block in. She didn't die. Her water was still clear when we got back. She and her snails, her little snail family, are just living their best life. She is a queen. If you could pick a book that describes what goes on inside your head, what would the book be? Oh, good God, so I don't know. You don't want to gaze this head. I don't think anyone's even attempted to put this down on paper. It'd be very dangerous for the world, I think. If you could burn a book to ashes, sacrilege by the way, but then I carried on, and snort slash smoke slash ingest said ashes to be transported into the world as the main character and feel everything they do, which book would you get high on? What a question. What book would I want to be the main character in in that world? Part of me wants to say Kingdom of the Wicked, just so I just so Wrath could be my lover. Turning to hell, I'm very busy. I'd probably say I would be Poppy from Blood and Ash. Not just because of, of Cass, no, not at all. Um, just to be that badass, but gosh, she has been through some shit. Do I want that? But I kind of do want to be in that world. I love the Blood and Ash world. I really do, like I want to see, like I feel it when I read the books, I see it. And whilst I have problems with the third book, do not get me wrong, I struggled to re I, mm, I didn't even talk about that on my channel. Did anyone notice how I was waiting for the third book to come out? Like, I'm a massive fan of the first two, and the third book came out and I didn't fucking talk about it. I'll talk about it at some point, but I wasn't happy with that book. Poppy. Um, so yeah, probably be Poppy just because she's so badass and I really want to go into this world. I really want to go into that world. This is a funny one, how old is your cat and what's the weirdest things about him or her? Um, the cats are not our cats, we have three cats. Um, Blake, Mom and Freak, and they are all neighbours cats. They all live over there with a lovely woman over the, over the road from us. Uh, but they come in every day uh, to get love and fuss and cuddles. Not actually our cats. Would you consider writing a book? Now this makes me laugh because I'm already an author. I've already got a book. It's called Where Is She? Um, and that was published, I think it's got to be, oh my god, it's got to be like, what, three years ago now? Over three years? Good god. It was bestseller. Very happy. Um, but yeah, if you didn't come from my main channel, then you probably don't know that I'm already a published author. Weirdest book you've read? Ooh, this is a toss up between The Wasp Factory by Ian Banks and I just read Bear by Marion, what's it? Marion something. I was gonna do a whole video on that because yeah, it's about a bear and a woman in the... It won an award in Canada. I don't know how to describe that book in a video, which is why you haven't got it yet. But I have the vlog footage and I'm gonna figure out something to do with that. That book was just what the fuck did I just read kind of book. Anyway, so those are the questions. Um, I'm going to jump into a little bit of a haul now. I think I only got four books, but <laughs> never mind. First one I picked up, you know what? It's really hard to find romance books in charity shops, I find, that are not contemporary. I have no interest in contemporary romance. I find them really boring. I like, I'm on a real dark romance kick at the moment. Um, I'm just saying, I'm not edgier. I need edge. I need itch. But I did pick up this one um, because I do love a good forbidden romance, but I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this one. This is Forbidden Fruit by Eden, Eden Bradley. Um, this is a student teacher, I think, which I have tried before and it's been okay, but this one is the woman is the teacher, the professor or something, and the guy is younger. I don't think I'm going to like that dynamic. I don't know. Um, but apparently there's two books in this, even though the back only says it's one book, but all the reviews say there are two books in here. Um, and the second one is about two professors, which would be more up my alley. But anyway, pick that up for 50p. Also found this to add to my beautiful collection of um, hardback, like travel, geography, place books. And it is Villages of Britain and it is one pound and she is chunky and she is beautiful underneath. Um, so that can go on our collection of um, UK books, if that makes sense. I'll show them to you one day. I've got a lovely collection coming up. This one, I'm so happy because I've seen this go around on um, booktube. It's called A Man Called Ove. I think it's pronounced Ove. Um, and apparently it's absolutely amazing. One of those real like touch your soul kind of books. So if I'm in the mood for it, I was really happy. I saw that it was like an immediate grab because I've heard really good things about this book. And the last one, only because it's fairly new out um, and it is The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. Um, but I think my friend wants to read this because we were talking about this ages ago. Um, I think she wants to read this, so it's hardback, picked it up for a pound, and I might give it to her. If it is correct, I'm gonna send her a picture in a minute after I film this. I'm like, is this the book you wanted? She says yes, it's hers. But she says no, it's mine. Um, so yes, yeah. Oh, it's nice inside. Lovely. 
Anyway, so that's a mini haul for you. Oh my god. Uh, loving, leaving, shutting up. Um, nice to be back. Got some cool video ideas. Again, I'm on a romance kick right now, so expect some romance recommendation videos. Um, I know I will switch at some point and go into a whole different genre probably, but right now, not gonna lie, if the book doesn't have sex in it, I don't want to read it. It's just where I'm at right now. It's just where I'm at. Maybe I'll stay here. Maybe I found my genre and I will be a dedicated romance reader. I do not know. We will see what happens. Take the journey with me. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all the fun stuff. Do all of it, do none of it, doesn't matter so long as you're happy and I will see you in the next video.